Welcome back to our short series exploring how plants convert light into biomass. The traditional way to estimate radiation use efficiency is to place power sensors above and below the vegetation to measure the several terms of the radiation balance. The incoming radiation, the one reflected by the canopy, and the one transmitted at the bottom of the canopy, and the light reflected by the background at the bottom of the canopy. However, this technique poses two major problems. It does not allow distinguishing light inter intercepted by or absorbed by the green photosynthetic elements of interest and the light absorbed or intercepted by the non-green elements that will not contribute to photosynthesis. Further, this technique is very low throughput and may disturb vegetation uh, when placing the power sensors at the bottom of the canopy. Alternative techniques have been developed based on hemispherical photography. Hemispherical photography, made from the top of the canopy and looking downward, offers several key advantages. It does not disturb the vegetation. It is higher throughput. It allows distinguishing between the green and non-green elements. And finally, it permits to estimate Fe power from all possible in illumination directions with a single image shot. The difficult part was the segmentation between the green and non-green elements. This is now mainly solved using advanced machine learning techniques, including deep learning. However, for plant breeders uh, trials conducted in small microplots, the footprint of the image would be too large and will include the neighboring microplots. We therefore developed an original technique based on at least two limited field of view cameras pointing to two into two view directions. One is looking uh, at Nadir downward vertically. The other is looking at 45 degree inclination in a compass direction perpendicular to the rows. This technique may be very high throughput, operated either from UAVs or from rovers on the ground, or even with a handled system such as the literal one. It allows distinguishing between green and non-green elements and permits to compute the fraction of intercepted radiation for all illumination conditions. This system has been validated over synthetic 3D models of plant architecture, as well as using actual field observations. It is currently operated uh, within the Phenom French platforms using Phenomobile rovers. In the final episode, I will explore radiation uh, use efficiency.